All right, guys, here we are. I'm sitting on the top of a roof that we just replaced um, just a couple days ago. And I originally met this customer years ago and he had issues with um, rodents and flying squirrels getting into his attic. He had another pest control company at the time. Um, they replaced his insulation in his attic, but they did not do anything as far as exclusion. So. He originally had a cedar shake roof and we sealed that cedar shake roof as best as we can but just basically letting him know as long as this roof exists up here i can't i can't guarantee i can't promise you that every single gap and crack has been found and sealed so when you're ready to replace the roof talk to me and we'll do it so we did end up replacing his roof we went with the certainty belmont shingle really good looking roof it's a good alternative when you're coming from a cedar shake roof to keep that still designer look. He had some attic fans here, he had some roof vents here. And we took those all out in favor of ridge vents, which is just natural passive airflow. You don't have to worry about maintaining and replacing attic fans as they go out or die. Now, one thing that I hear from customers is that when they have a rodent or a squirrel or a raccoon issue, something into your attic, they always say, well, I just had the roof replaced. That should have fixed it, right? No, that's not the case. So when these roofers replacing your roof, all they worry about, well, I don't want to say all they worry about, but they're primarily focused on stopping water from getting into your attic. So even on a brand new roof, I still have a plan to come in and proof your roof to stop animals from getting back in. Um, we're going to put ridge guard up, which you'll probably see in another video over the ridge fence. We did replace the gutters also. So we're going to put a nice quality gutter guard over there that keeps animals out, your birds, your woodpeckers. Squirrels, mice, keeps them out of the gutters. Um, it is a micro mesh gutter guard that stops the mosquitoes from reproducing your gutters as well. Um, we do have some rotten wood over here at your dormers, which is also a common entry point. We get rodents, we get squirrels, we got wasps that get in these and get behind the wall, get behind the walls in the house over here as well. So it's just a good comprehensive plan to control many different pest and animal issues all at once. And after my guys come out and we're all done, I'll probably give you a follow-up video. One other sidebar too is that when it comes to situations like this with these trees, which I talked to him about, he's got on his list of things to do, we want three to five feet of distance between any limb and any roof. No amount of proofing on a roof is going to stop animals from jumping over from the trees and continuing to probe and find areas that we haven't proofed or areas that are more difficult for them to get in that they'll now go after after we've proofed the roof. So definitely keep the trees away from your house three to five feet as well. Thank you guys.